We both, I mean, we both, I mean, all of this, what I've done as well, there have just, there have been some mistakes, okay? It's fine. But you aren't coming back, right? Ripon, I also use the name Repo with uh, my artwork, and so we're standing here in front of the Cosmo Gallery in Barcelona. This is the first uh, solo exhibition that I've had here in Barcelona. That's it? This whole thing we've had, it's just over? Look, I know about her. You know that, okay? What happened? I mean, how you two had your little, 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 all right? Okay? I, mean, I didn't start as a street artist specifically. I started more just as an artist since the time I was about seven, eight years old, maybe, or even earlier, probably. I was always drawing. I always had to, you know, always had to be doodling or drawing or doing something and um, you know, usually got me in trouble at school but you know I, just, I never stopped pretty much and then uh, you know as I got a little bit older I got into skateboarding and into graffiti as well and uh, you know, as I grew up as a kid in, in New York City I was doing um, you know, I wasn't doing a lot of graffiti but I was constantly drawing and I was really inspired by a lot of it as well as you know you know, comic books, skateboards, skateboard graphics, um, among, among other things. Well, the two large pieces in the show I picked up all around my studio in the neighborhood, the Raval. The titles of them are Never Enough Number One, Never Enough Number Two. So we're talking about one I've writ written time, the other one I've written money. It's the idea of talking about contrast in lives. Contrast is kind of ever present. You're whacking me down. I feel like I'm. I mean, is this is this a moral issue, or is this just because you think I have nice tits? I came to Europe, I think the first time in 2003. I came to study. I started putting up, you know, playing around with things with stencils, and I started seeing things that weren't just graffiti. It was, you know, other images. There's posters up, there's things like that, and I started getting interested in it. And, uh, Playing, you know, playing around with stencils as well as constantly, you know, doing more with, uh, you know, writing my own name everywhere as well. I came back to Barcelona in 2005. I mean, I know about the city's fame as sort of a place where people were free to paint in the streets as well as do a lot of different things in the streets. And uh, I wanted to be, I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to, you know, come here and. And create on my own terms. So I came here, and you know, five, six years later, I had my my first solo show in the city, and uh, done a lot of work on the streets. Over.